There have been continuous calls for the release of Deputy Commissioner of Police Abba Kiari and some men of his intelligence response team after a 15-month detention following a cocaine deal allegation leveled against them by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency before May 29 in the interest of justice, equity and fairness. This call is coming on the heels of reports of the release of two convicted drug traffickers involved in the alleged drug trafficking case. Our correspondent now tells us more. On May 19, Two convicted drug traffickers, Chibunna Patrick Umwebe and Emeka Alfonsus Ezewani, who were arrested at an airport in Enugu on January 2022 in possession of 21.25 kg of cocaine, were released from the Suleja Correctional Service, where they both served two years imprisonment each on three count charges. During the investigation, suspended Deputy Commissioner of Police Abba Kiari and four members of his intelligence response team were indicted and subsequently arraigned by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency on several charges bordering on conspiracy, obstruction and dealing in cocaine. The traffickers, who entered a plea bargain deal with the narcotics agency, were later sentenced to two years imprisonment each on three counts by Justice Emeka Nwite of the Federal High Court Abuja, while Abakiari and his team remained in custody. The news of their release from the Nigerian Correctional Facility in Suleja, Niger State, has continued to generate reactions, and latest is from a group called Center for Democracy and Human Rights. The group wants President Muhammadu Buhari to, as a matter of urgency, set up a committee to independently investigate the case and prosecute all those found wanting. It is legally and morally wrong to detain these IRT officers for 15 months without bail while the international drug traffickers, the police arrested and voluntarily transferred to NDLA are now free. Thanks to a ridiculous and compromised pre bargain that got them 16 months in prison instead of 28 years. The president or the presidency, whichever applies in Nigeria, should immediately set up a committee to investigate the activities of the NDLA and drug traffickers under General Bubamara are retired. Especially in this case, where clearly indicted NDLA officers were shielded, and many other NDLA officers, including one Sunday, Ziranda, Zirandi, sorry, director of intelligence who was indicted by an ex-NDLA officer for, for connivance with drug barons, diversions of recovered drugs, murder case among others. They also want the federal government to look into past records of Abba Kiari and his team who were instrumental in the fight against kidnapping and insecurity in the country. We are concerned with the security situation in Nigeria. Nigeria is not safe for anybody. Directly or indirectly, we are affected. We know people that have been kidnapped or people that will be kidnapped. Nowadays, the kidnappers are not even looking at your status anymore. They could kidnap you and demand for 500,000. It's everywhere. What we are simply saying is that when these guys were around, they handled these kidnapping cases effectively. For the sake of national security. And from our investigation and report, we discovered that um, Abba Kerry, this is just a case of pure winch hunt by so called people or power that be. Abba Kerry is innocent. His men are innocent. Though we leave that to the court to decide. Anyway. The group calls on the federal government through the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to immediately investigate and prosecute the NDLEA boss, Buba Marwa retired, on issues bordering around corruption in the agency. Gloria Atta, reporting for Clevview News.